Even before Trump built the wall along the Mexican-U.S. border, there used to be Mexican-U.S. tensions. And I don't mean in the early 2000s, I'm talking about the 1800s. Today we're talking about the St. Patrick's Battalion, a unit of Europeans who fought with Mexico against the USA during the Mexican-American War of 1846 to 1848. This idea was suggested by Dare General, so thank you. Also, if you're a new viewer, consider subbing, because we're about to hit 1,000 subs. <laughs> Before we learn about the battalion, we have to learn about the Mexican-American War. As the name implies, this is a war between Mexico and America, and that implies that they fought each other. But why? Well, the simplified version is this. Mexicans saw the annexation of Texas in March 1845, and saw that as an act of war, and then the war started. This war ended with America winning and getting 500,000 square miles, or for you Europeans, 1,300,000 square kilometers of land. Now, here's a map. This is before the war, and this is after the war. Also, did you know that more American soldiers died of disease during this war than actual combat? I know you didn't know that. If you think you did, shut up and leave. But let's stop being negative Nazis, because we're here to talk about the St. Patrick's Battalion. Formed up by 175 to around a couple hundred immigrants and expatriates, the St. Patrick's Battalion was mostly formed by deserters or defectors of the U.S. Army. Quick trivia question. What's the difference between a deserter and a defector? A deserter is someone who leaves their army, while a defector leaves their army to join another. Formed and led by John Riley, an Irishman who defected from the U.S. Army, brought many Catholics with him when defecting to Mexico. The battalion fought as an artillery unit for most of the war and were responsible for some of the toughest battles the Americans fought. Ulysses S. Grant, yes, THE Grant, said of the battalion, Churubusco proved to be about the severest battle fought in the Valley of Mexico. One might ask, why did these Europeans and Americans fight for Mexico? Well, a lot of the soldiers said that they faced cultural alienation in America, and that they were mistreated in the army, and they were forced to attend Protestant church services, and were unable to practice their Catholic religion freely. Mexico also paid better than the U.S. Army. Even though the St. Patrick's Battalion wasn't only made up of Irish people, it also had Germans, Canadians, English, French, Italians, Poles, Scots, Spaniards, Swiss, and even Mexicans, many of whom were members of the Catholic Church. Americans were also in the ranks, including escaped slaves from the southern United States. And even though it had all those people from all over, look at this flag. Those words literally mean Ireland forever in Gaelic. But why don't we talk about the battle that Ulysses S. Grant commended the battalion for? The Battle of Churro Busco, which was fought on August 20th, 1847, was the battalion's final battle. This battle to the San Patricios was seen as a time for revenge against the U.S. troops. While the Mexicans were losing troops quickly during the battle and were heavily outnumbered, they fought until their ammunition ran out and the Mexicans raised their white flag. However, the battalion of St. Patrick didn't want to surrender and tore the flag down, and they kept fighting even with bare hands. Two more times, the Mexicans attempted to raise the white flag, but the battalion shot and killed them. After close quarter fighting with bayonets and sabers, they finally surrendered. 35 of the battalion were killed in the battle, 85 were taken prisoner, and 85 escaped with their treating Mexican forces. In the end, 50 of their members were executed by the U.S. Army. This is the largest mass execution in U.S. history. Some who survived went back to their home countries, while some stayed behind in the new smaller Mexico. To this day, the San Patricios are honored in both Mexico and Ireland. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any ideas for future videos, comment below. Also, sub. Mm -hmm.